This is Camo Pigeon 342 and today I'm going to show you how to get Super Nintendo SNES for iPhone onto your jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch. So what you got to do is you're going to go into installer. Now if you don't have this source added, you're going to need to go to sources, edit, add, and you're going to add this source iAppCat.com slash r slash 8875. I'll have that in the description. So once you do that, you let it refresh. Then you go back into installer. And there's going to be another repo created. It's going to be Camo Pigeon 342's repo. You click on that. You're going to need to install SNES for iPhone. Once you install that, you should have that icon right there SNES for iPhone. After you do this, you're going to need to install something called iPhone Browser. I'll have the link to this page in the video description as well. Install this right here. This is the latest version of iPhone Browser. This will allow you to use a hard connection to browse the files in your phone. To be able to uh, put ROMs into your phone fairly easily. So once you install that, you're going to open iPhone browser, which is going to look like that. So you open that, and now it says I'm not plugged in, which I'm not. Now, if you jailbroke your phone using the iPhone, you're going to need to go back into an installer, and you're going to need to go back into my repo, and you're going to need to install something called Z iPhone iBreaker Fix, which is going to be in here. I already have it installed, so it's not. Once you install that, you should be able to plug your phone in, and then it should show up on here. So this is my phone. These are the files on my phone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into VAR, and now depending on what firmware you have, if you have 1.1.3 or later, you need to go into mobile. If you have 1.1.2 or earlier, you need to go into root. Um, with either version, there's going to be a file called media, and then you're going to need to create a file called ROMs. So, no matter what firmware you have, you go into media, and if you do not have a ROMs folder, you need to create one. So, what you're going to do is you're going to right click, new folder. Type in ROMs, capital R, capital O, capital M, lowercase s. Uh, it needs to be just right, or else it's not going to work at all. So then you go into your ROMs folder, and you're going to need to create a SNES folder. Capital S, capital N, capital E, capital S. Once you do that, you're going to need to have download, you need to download ROMs. So, I'll have a link... Uh, to where you can download Super Nintendo ROMs from. Um, download them to your computer, and then what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you're clicked on your SNES one. You go to wherever you downloaded them, and you're going to click and drag. So I will click and drag SimCity over to iPhone browser, and I'm going to drop it into there. So now it's copying that file into my phone. And there it is. SimCity is now on my phone. To show you kind of what happened here, I'm gonna go back into my phone. I'm gonna go over to my Super Nintendo, and there it is. There's SimCity. I'm gonna start a new game, and there it goes. I'm doing all sorts of crazy stuff in there. So this is Super or Super Nintendo SimCity. And I'm not going to play, but uh, I could if I really wanted to. It's about as simple as it gets. Uh, if you have any questions, if you had any problems, message me. I'm dying to hear about it.